the MFJ 4230 DMP power supply. Check this out. All right, so this is winter field day in January, last weekend of January 2019. This is a new power supply I picked up from Buddy Pole a few months ago. Haven't really had the chance or the opportunity to use it yet, so we're gonna look at it today. It is a 30 amp digital switching power supply with a big LCD display on the front of it. So let's take a look and see what it looks like and what all features it has. The knob, you turn the knob just barely and it makes changes. So, you know, 12.2, but it's got a notch in the middle where it basically notches right there. You can see 13.8 and it stops. Uh, power switch, of course, in the front. The coolest part is that that's not the only power for it. I'm going to turn it off real quick and show you the back. This right here, it's got, and this is a standard plug that you would plug into a computer monitor or something like that, the standard three-prong plug on the back, but it's got two power pole connections. So it can power two different devices with power poles. So you don't even have to use the thing in the front. The, the, uh, the, the poles in the front, the no positive and negative poles in the front. You can, if you want to hook in something like a, you know, a light or something. But if you've got your radios on power poles, then that's really all you need. So we turn that on here. Just like that. And like that. For winter field day and that is what that looks like there obviously this is a portable and a temporary setup <laughs> but this power supply would be perfect for a go kit it's small it's lightweight it's 30 amps it'll power a couple three radios at a time not if you key up all of, on all of them at the same time let's uh Watch the uh, display there when I when I do key up. We're on 20 meter uh, upper sideband. KN5TR testing. Operating today field day with the call sign of Kilo November 5 Tango Romeo. So it's drawing about an amp right now, being on uh, receive only. Kilo November 5 Tango Romeo. Jumped up to 10 to 12 amps when I was uh, keying up. That's still, it's a 30 amp power supply. That's still enough to even key up on two radios. I don't know why you'd ever want to do that. Maybe if you had two operators on different bands with bandpass filters, that might work. But regardless, you could put this radio in a go kit and have an HF rig, a VHF rig, maybe a digital rig of some sort, maybe a couple of lights, maybe a, a tuner, a couple other things that are running a little bit of power and it would work very well. So a special thanks to MFJ for allowing me to review their products. They've been a sponsor of my show for some time. If you like what you've seen here, check out one of these videos on the side. Be sure to hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.